Hello, my name is Jenny and my article in this issue of Paper Lanterns is about LGBTQ plus Irish YA. I'm so happy to be featured in this issue and I'm very grateful to the team at Paper Lanterns for all their support, especially to Ruth. And as part of my research for this article, they helped me put together a survey which was sent out to readers asking them about their experiences of LGBTQ plus YA and why representation matters to them. And their answers form a really important part of the article. The article also looks at the development of Irish LGBTQ plus YA, starting in the 1990s and then moving forward to the real boom in representation after the marriage equality referendum in 2015 and the Gender Recognition Act of the same year. These are some of the books that are featured in the article. There's a really wide selection available, so there are many more discussed in the article, including The Henna Wars, Wormwood Gate, Other Words for Smoke and The Deepest Breath. And I think we're really lucky to see Irish YA becoming more, more diverse and intersectional. But of course, there is still more work to be done, and I'm particularly keen to see more representation of trans voices and stories. The article also draws on my own experience of reading LGBTQ plus stories in the library quite furiously as a teenager before I came out and in how reading books have been an important part of discovering my own identity and finding my place within the community. I hope that the article will help people discover new stories and to learn more about the community and about themselves as well. So I'd like to just finish off by sharing some pictures of the Wicklow libraries from my home county which are now showing LGBTQ plus flags, pride flags, rainbows and I just think it's a really beautiful and meaningful thing to me to see this kind of inclusiveness and diversity really being celebrated and I hope that it'll help many other young readers find their way.